translated words of the great prime minister, Zhuge Liang. Types of generals. There are nine types of generals. Those who guide with virtue, who treat all equally with courtesy, who know when the troops are cold and hungry, and who notice when they are weary and pained, are called humanistic generals. Those who do not try to avoid any task, who are not influenced by profit, who would die with honor before living in disgrace, are called dutiful generals. Those who are not arrogant because of their high status, who do not make much of their victories, who are wise but can humble themselves, who are strong but can be tolerant, are called courteous generals. Those whose extraordinary shifts are unfathomable, whose movements and responses are multifaceted, who turn disaster into fortune and seize victory from the jaws of danger, are called clever generals. Those who give rich rewards for going ahead and have strict penalties for retreating, whose rewards are given right away, and whose penalties are the same for all ranks, even the highest, are called trustworthy generals. Those who go on foot or on a war horse, with the metal to take on a hundred men, who are skilled in the use of close-range weapons, swords and spears, are called infantry generals. Those who face the dizzying heights and cross the dangerous defiles, who can shoot at a gallop as if in flight, who are in the vanguard when advancing, and in the rearguard when withdrawing, are called cavalry generals. Those whose metal makes the armies tremble, and whose determination makes light of powerful enemies, who are hesitant to engage in petty fights, while courageous in the midst of major battles, are called fierce generals. Those who consider themselves lacking when they see the wise, who go along with good advice like following a current, who are magnanimous yet able to be firm, who are uncomplicated yet have many strategies, are called great generals.